Hello everyone, welcome to your daily card reading for uh, the 26th of September. And I'm just going to do a two card reading quick, quick. Um, a lot of stuff going on today and I almost forgot about this, but uh, we'll do this. Um, just two card reading quick, quick. Well, this has to do with um, with uh, kind of a divine birthing, um, something something that comes together through not just um, one person trying to make something happen, but through a collective effort, not just of people or not just of life, but really uh, almost like timing, synchronicity, uh, something something that really has to come into existence. It's, it's coming in um, in a very precise and measured way. It's coming in very specifically and um, uh, very necessarily. I mean, it, it has to come into birth. And so um, there are willing participants that bring it into birth but something is coming into birth and it's it's almost like if you look back on history I mean things that happened um, they were just always going to happen I mean things that were no matter how how they came in um, the universe was at work behind the scenes to to no matter what make sure that these things came into existence and they they used um, people and circumstances and timing and all these things to give birth to something. So um, even though um, we stress about things or even though we're not sure if we can make things happen or whatever, if something's meant to be, it's going to come into birth. And, and you might be a vehicle or a part of a system that works together or that comes comes through a, a divine process of synchronicity and um, different people uh, kind of putting their efforts together, but it's really, uh, even even the thoughts that come through those people are, are something even beyond those people, you know. So um, there's something coming to birth that is way beyond any individual or even beyond... Um, life. It's beyond life. It, there's, I mean, this is about the creation of the universe, the creation of life. This is about uh, things that uh, the sustenance of life, that the ability for there to be life on earth. I mean, it, there's just so many things that um, there is no explanation. I mean, the, the finite, the fine-tuned uh, qualities, the fine-tuned nature of the existence of things is that's what this is about. That um, there's something so fine-tuned, so uh, you know beyond. It, it's it's not about the person. I mean, forget all all people. Forget all life. It's not about the people. It's not about the life. It's something that needs to come into existence, but it comes through the people. And um, then we have uh, Da Vinci and you, and you know I actually I never even had a individual card for her, um, and and she died when we got here because of uh, foul pox. But this is you Aspecta, and they were they did everything together, Da Vinci and you, and um, th so this is about people who who last with you for every moment that they can exist and so these two did everything together and you expect it has to do again with that fine tuning it has to do with that like exact relationship it has to do with um, I, I named her after um, you have an aspect and then and then you have an orientation to the aspect and I, I know that kind of sounds confusing but it's like 
Okay, you, you have a relationship, but then you even have a measure to the relationship. So it, it's interesting because when I was talking about that, it just kind of reminded me of, of why I named her. I called her you for short, but she was you Especta. And, and you is a word in Thai that, that like indicates that you're, you're uh, showing an aspect and then aspecta that has to do with the, the measure and the relationship and, and you is just like putting attention to a measure and a relationship. So, um, and, and then she was just always with this boy, uh, Da Vinci. And Da Vinci is skills and talents and all the, you know, the Renaissance man. So this has to do with um, kind of a perfect fine tuning of relationships where um, the, the relationship is so kind of perfectly fine-tuned and so uh, lock and fit together. So this is a very important relationship where um, these people are really interdependent with each other and, and working with each other uh, to, to create things. So um, we have this divine birthing that is something beyond life. But then also we have this this really powerful combination of life forces that um, come together in in a great harmony and a great devotion and a great love and a great uh, commitment to each other and not just to each other but to their work with each other to their their moment to moment existence with each other they have this this really phenomenal commitment with each other and um so anyway uh that's that's the reading for today we have um something beyond people that are, is being birthed but then it's in combination with um people who who really have this very powerful unique fit and lock with each other that um is is you know very powerfully working with each other in a commit committed and um, harmonious way to to create something with each other and and beyond each other and then and then in addition to that we even have something beyond that with timing and I mean there's forces of existence that go beyond um, life, even though this is this is about the ultimate life relationship here, we have the the you know that magical birthing of the universe that brings something in you know beyond beyond um, people's efforts, beyond their beyond their efforts and beyond their um, commitments and beyond their even um, you know their yeah, I mean, I guess beyond their commitments, but beyond their their imagination is beyond their imagination. It's something just totally beyond them. It's not even, you know, it's it's not something they're trying to do. It's something totally beyond that works through people sometimes to give birth to something that's birdie baby, birdie baby. Um, she came about by. Um, miraculous conception, I guess you could say, because she um, did not have the right temperature. Um, she, I, I, It was just kind of a joke, but I, I felt bad about throwing out the egg, and I put it under a light, and it was in the middle of winter, and I didn't really have good heating, and um, I turned the egg, <laughs> and then uh, just one day, I was, I, I was moving it, and I happened to I don't know, kind of fall or something and crack it a little bit and it turned out uh, she was peeping in there and she would have never gotten out of there. She would have never even, I mean, I, I know that about babies um, unless you have to like really work on them to get them out of there if there's a problem. And there was a major problem. I mean, she wasn't in the right conditions at all. So she was not going to, she was not strong enough to break out of that egg. She was not even strong enough to peep or let me know that she was in that egg. And um, I happened to kind of by accident um, kind of 
break that egg or kind of make a little crack or something and there was a little peep out of it and so uh, I mean she totally wasn't strong enough to break out of the egg anyway and none of the she was the only I actually had about 10 eggs in there and none of them ended up doing anything except for this one and um, and I you know I, I did the little fostering for a little while and Try to see, but I mean, she was so weak. I mean, she she didn't have any of the right conditioner. She shouldn't have even probably had you know been born. I mean, it was amazing that she even had the life in her to even peep. So I was able to. I put her under warm water and hatched her out myself, and then um, kept her warm and, and kind of nurtured her, and was able to birth her and she's one of my cutest like funniest uh, I love that chicken <laughs> she's she's um sagey birdie which is um my original chicken I had four original chickens and she's the only baby I have from any of my original chickens and that's birdie baby and, and she's just like her mama and it's so funny because she does so many things just like her mom and it's so cute because um she's the only line of continuance from my first four chickens and it was all through this little miracle of uh, happening so I you know it's it's just about and and there's so many examples of that in um, in science and nature where um, miracles happen like that so that's what that represents the ace of earth something that death is meant to be in it 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 happens and so in combination with this commitment with um between two people and this love between two people so that's a great reading so uh yeah this is a long reading for two cards but um i hope everyone got what they needed out of that today and i will see you again tomorrow thanks a lot